Hi, my name's Ash. Welcome back to the channel where we're doing a Try Hack Me walkthrough. I hope you enjoy the video. There's an ant on my camera right now. Do I flick it off or do I, I ignore it? The answer is ignore. So the room in the next installment of this current CTF is called Templates. So let's follow that over. So on tryhackme.com, we've got the room and let's uh, go through this together. Looks like we've got one task and uh, just templates. We can go ahead and start up our machine and let's read the instructions. My favorite type of dog is a pug and you know what? Pug is my favorite templating engine. I made this super slick application you can play around with, Pug, and see how it works. Seriously, you can do so much with Pug. Okay, access, hit start machine, done that, HTTP. And we have check out a similar content on Try Hack Me. Okay, so a nice little SSTI, which stands for Server Side Template Injection. So here is another room that I have not done. Let's just have a quick scroll through. So a template engine allows you to create static template files, which can be reused in your application. So we've got a code example of Flask, which is a Python web framework, I think. So it looks like Pug is going to also be maybe something based on Python. So how is it exploitable? So looking at that code again, the variable user, which is user input, is concatenated directly in the template rather than passed in as data. This means whatever is supplied as user input will be interpreted by the engine. Uh. Note the template engine themselves aren't vulnerable, rather an insecure implementation by the developer. So not all templates bad, let's hope Pug is so we can uh, actually get this room. So then the server side exploit, which we've learned about before, XSS, meaning that the server can get hijacked, which is what we're assuming we're hopefully gonna do. Okay, cool, a little bit of a background there. If you wanna go through that entire room, you're more than welcome to. Uh, it's a part of the free rooms also, which is a nice plus. All right, my IP is up. Let's go ahead and boot up our VM and just resize our window here. Start up our VPN connection to make sure that we're on that connection and we are tunneled. Okay, let's go over and grab this IP. Make sure you include the 5000 port number that they've got there. And I'm just gonna open that up in Firefox in the background. Okay, and this looks like our pug to HTML converter. So if we just quickly look up pug you can see it's an npm package pug compile will compile the pug source code into js so let's go give it a go and we've got pugs are so cute we open up our console does it actually send that console log or it just simply renders out whatever goes in so it, it just the ease of use of writing html like you can just it's just easier is that the whole point of pug right that just interprets the p and puts the contents inside and uh, then it does also tags. Cool, templating engine, got it. So we need to figure out a way to pass like commands through. Was this similar to like Epoch where we last time we had like a combination, but this time it seems to take the first input as like the tag and then renders out. I think we'll need to do a little bit of research yeah, so just sort of poking around, seeing if anything pops out, if they've left clues anywhere. Looking at the page source. I always find this part hard because like I, I really don't know what I'm looking for and I'm I'm not that confident in JavaScript, which I feel like is a big part of web, web hacking. Uh, let's just run an MMAP scan. Just maybe there's some other ports. I mean, I don't think that there are, but like just bear with me. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do a quick scan and continue poking around. While Nmap's running, I'll do a quick GoBuster directory fuzz or scan to see if there's anything else. So put it in der mode, verbosity, output to that, dash u, make sure we're specifying the port, dash w for the word list that we want to pass through. And in this case, we'll go and use derb common.txt. And we'll let that run, see if we find anything. So Nmap hasn't picked anything up. So there's no hidden port that we're supposed to look at, which uh, I'll let go bust to finish, but it really does bring us back to this. This is the real main challenges, which I mean, makes sense. If I go back to the instructions, right? We're trying to put something in here to get a result on the server. So if we look up pug SSTI, um, exploit maybe, hack tricks has got something. Uh, so I've recently found hack tricks from the Try Hack Me Discord, and this seems to be a great resource from uh, someone else. 
So if we actually just search through hack tricks and find pug, so it looks like we can run a test passing that through, which does give us, so it, it is actually interpreting that. So we could go ahead and then try and get a shell. So this is just seeing if it can make a file in the temporary directory, executing touch temporary directory and then a pwned.txt. So that returns undefined. So that might have made the file, but like, I don't think we can see it. Like if we went list out, yeah, just list out the temporary, like it's not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna see that on our side. So this next running like the curl command, maybe we could run, like maybe we, if this could work, we could try like running netcat and it sends back a reverse shell. So if we set up a listening port, on 4321. Ooh, GoBuster just finished. Is there anything found? No, nah, there's nothing found in the GoBusters. So both Nmap and GoBuster is not worth it. We're, we're on the right path by going down this way. So if I just get my IP here and we paste this on port 4321, because that's what we've set up our listener. And it's trying to find s.sh pipe through bash. Uh, so I don't really understand what that is. Okay, I'll just give this a go and we'll see if we uh, indeed get anything. So I've pasted that in and I've gone convert. And if we go back to our terminal, it got a response. We don't have a shell, but we did get a response, which means something. We got something. Would netcat? We just said, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just totally testing here. No, that didn't give us anything. Yeah, so curl is sending. I guess I really don't understand how this works because it's not actually sending anything through. Um, yeah, so just reading like, I think that's the thing if we uploaded something, I don't know how to upload something. Maybe we could get a return that way. I'm gonna come back to this. Let's, let's see if we can find another avenue. What if we tried like SSTI reverse shell? Cool, pug template engine. Okay, so this seems a bit more all in one. All right, let's give this a go. Uh, okay, so this goes through, this is essentially just gonna render like normal, but this one, like we saw earlier with the seven times seven is gonna work. And this process, binding spawn sync. And then we have this, what looks like some big old string of number and that. It looks like a base 64 possibly. So let's go ahead and grab this payload and let's pop into Cyberchef. So Cybershef, we can pop that in there. I, I've never noticed that. I actually get like a little magic wand. So it tries and detects it, which is cool because I usually just slide magic over. Anyway, uh, so that's um, decoded it and we can see the full payload uh, of the reverse shell. So this, this looks like an all-in-one reverse shell. Cool, this is what we're after. Let's go get that IP again, and let's try this for another time. So we can put our IP in here, so this is what we're going to send back to. I can't put it in there, can I? No, I need to copy this, put this up here, then edit it up in the input. That's better. Uh, so let's keep it on 4321. So now if we put that back on, uh, that's saying from. So again, get rid of that. And we want two, that's better. Okay, copy the raw output. I'm just worried if it didn't add anything. I think that was, you see when I highlight it and I, it's not highlighting the equals. I'm not sure if that's an issue. Let's give it a go. So we've got our listener on four, three, two, one. And come back over to our, our exploit here. And where we did have the previous, you can just go ahead and paste that in. And all right, go grab the whole thing. Now we'll paste that in here, we'll go convert. So we should see title. Yeah, we're not gonna see anything. Um, well, hello. We have a working shell. Okay, cool. We're user, we have a home directory. And do we have anything in our home directory? No. Let's go and look at root. Can't see anything there. There is no, uh, we don't. Home node rather. Oh, if I just list out the current directory, I can see the flag. What was I doing before? Why couldn't I see it? Anyway, we got it. Cool, control, shift C, paste that in and congrats. 
we have, there's my camera. Okay, uh, yeah, so thank you very much for uh, tuning in. That was templates. So it ended up being or easier than I sort of realized. Uh, it was just about finding the right exploit. Uh, so I guess there's a good lesson, even though that this is a medium box, it it's just about finding the right exploit that someone's already made. And I guess until we get to the much harder rooms where then I assume you'd start making your own exploits, which uh, I don't even know where to begin with that. But anyway, at least we can go and find other people's exploits and we can sort of figure out how to use those exploits. So it was a little bit of a trial and error. I definitely didn't show all of the trial and errors in this video. Uh, so I tried to trim it up so it's still you know, zippy enough for you to follow along, but also you can sort of get the sense of, uh, yeah, how it went for me. Anyway, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, templates in this room. Let me know how you went. Uh, if you have any suggestions or if you've got any feedback for me, please do let me know. If you're struggling on anything in these rooms, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. So thanks very much for tuning in. I was supposed to do this whole outro here, but whoops. Oh, well. Okay, bye. <laughs>